coronation ceremony. Certainly there are more important matters to focus on right now. A coronation is important to assuage the people's fears and restore their faith. Besides which, it is the royalists' most... A kingdom is only truly as strong as people believe it to be. And right now the world believes Glenbrook weak. The ceremony will be a display to the contrary. Is this truly the remedy our situation calls for? Right now, I imagine the people care only for where their next hot meal will come from. Rest assured, sire. House Wolford will see your subjects shan't go hungry. But trust me, when I say nothing will hasten Glenbrook's return to her former glory, so much as announcing the return of Regna's rightful heir. To win your subjects' hearts, you need do nothing but ascend to your position upon the throne. You mean sit my royal backside on a fancy chair? In a manner of speaking, a king's duty is first and foremost serving as his kingdom's symbol. You needn't trouble yourself with day-to-day -day governance. We will assume that burden. After all, you have only just been crowned. There will be no ceremony. The people will tell us what they need, and you will listen to them, Patriot. That is my command. <laughs> As you wish, King Roland. How fair things, Suet. Have the relief supplies been given to those who need it? Well, we had received a sizable shipment of goods from Hyzand, but there are complaints. It seems very few of those goods have made it into the hands of the people. And why is that? We aren't certain. Though apparently Patriot and the Royalists involve themselves with the distribution. Damn those Royalists! They cannot be left to their own devices. House Wolfort and Minister Exham's forces have reclaimed the Crown City. And not only that, they have dealt a heavy blow to the Esfrosty forces in killing Thallus and other commanding officers. We couldn't have hoped for a better outcome. Oh, to see Gustadolf's face when he hears the news. Now he'll have no choice but to come crawling to us on hands and knees, begging for salt. Though... This could be our chance to crush the duchy once and for all. Just because they're licking their wounds does not make them easy prey. They still have their iron, after all. Ha! <laughs> iron! We all we need do is make Glenbrook hand over the Grand Norzellian mines to us. A paltry price to pay for our bountiful aid in their restoration of the Crown City. The Grand Norzellian Mines. The spark that lit the flame of Esfrost's aggression. But why go through the trouble to seize an iron source when they have all the iron they could ever need? I should have Milo look into the matter. Minister Edor? Well, regardless, we control the salt. I say we bide our time until Esfrost admits they are defeated. Besides, Glenbrook seeks our aid in their reconstruction efforts, do they not? Yes. King Roland and Minister Serenoa have both asked for help, and sent reports detailing the extent of the damage to the Crown City. Send forth a veritable bounty. To Minister Serenoa of the Saintly Seven, that is. Ah, yes. A show of the Goddess's grace to the people, and as a wedge to drive between him and the King. Esfrost Glenbrook. They will both be ours before long. Thank you all for helping to determine the extent of the damage to the capital. This information will be invaluable as we proceed with reconstruction. There is also happy word from Castle Woolfort. My Lord Father is awake. 
They say he is recovering apace and is already up and walking. Those are glad tidings indeed. He says he would like to see us and hear of all that has passed while he was taken ill. Then what are we waiting for? I'll saddle the horses. Would that we could depart at once, but the messenger brought another piece of news. Bandits plague the outskirts of the Rosalyn village. Ain't anyone living in that village anymore, so why bother with it? Think they're looking to make themselves a cozy lair? Whatever they want, they cannot be allowed to do as they please. We must protect the village so the Rizal have a home to return to. Apologies for my tardiness. It's sudden, I know, but I must ask you a favor. What is it? I suspect Patriot and his royalists are filching relief supplies. We've no proof it's them, but the fact remains. The people in most need of those goods are not receiving them. The matter warrants investigating at the very least. And I would ask for Wolfort's assistance. I see. Well, we were just discussing what we ought to do next. Allow me to explain the three courses of action before us. One, return to Castle Wolfort as my Lord Father requests. Two, defend the Rosellan village from bandits. Or three, remain in the capital to investigate the Royalists. Lord Simon has recovered. What splendid news. If I could only go to him myself and thank him for all House Wolfort has done. But I cannot leave the capital in the throes of a possible scandal. Too many hold the royal family in contempt as it is. That may be the case, but now that Lord Simon has awoken, someone must make sure he is healthy and apprise him of recent events. I would go to Castle Wolfort, Lord Serenoa, if it pleases you. My heart breaks for the Rosellen village. Let me go to its defense, even if I must go alone. I cannot allow that. It's far too dangerous a task for one person. Well, I would have the Wolfort soldiers with me, of course. Besides, do you recall our first meeting? Of course I do. You were being assailed by rogues at the port. If you hadn't been there, who knows what would have become of me. But I am not as weak now as I was then. I am stronger. Enough that I shall bring no dishonor to House Wolfort's name. My lord, have faith in me. Let me do this. Very well. Hmm. It seems best that Benedict, Frederica, and I each attend to these pressing matters. Separate. Indeed, but the rest of us cannot be in three places at once. We can only choose one path to take. Bring the scales of conviction.
Lord Saranoa. Even so... Listen, lad. Uh... And further. Uh-huh. I require some time to think. I... Good point. Okay. I agree wholeheartedly. You have my vote. You won me. I must return to the Wolfort Domain, to my father's side. Lord Simon will be most pleased to see you, I am certain. Of course. Fulfill your duty to your father. I shall see to things in the capital. And I shall attend to the Rosellen village. Please give Lord Simon my best. Oh, Lord Zeranoa. You are returning home? What perfect timing. I was thinking of heading to the Wolfort Domain myself. Might I accompany you? Milo, how'd you sneak into the castle? <laughs> oh, let's just say I have my ways. You might find the companionship of such a capable woman a boon on the road. I know not what her aims are, my lord, but I do know she will be easier to watch by your side. Indeed. All right, Milo, you may come, but you'll be put to work for the household. Under of course, my lord. Then this is farewell for now. King Roland, Frederica, until our reunion in the capital. <laughs>